Okay, so several things happen as you, uh, in fact, the large being does see you and you get its attention. It's, uh, it's some sort of giant humanoid and you can see as the ground is shaking and it's mumbling to itself. Does anyone speak any unusual languages? Did anyone pick any unusual languages? No? Okay. Um, no, the shell's not quite that smart. All right. <laughs> um, uh, it has this big cloud-like beard. In fact, as you get a glance at it, you almost like have to like kind of do, do a double take because you swear that, that, that it is a cloud. It makes no sense. It has this sort of vapor-like uh, quality to it that doesn't quite look like hair, the mustache and the beard. And he's got this giant rope and he's swinging something but nothing has happened with it yet but there's this this big metallic object that he's got on the other end of it and he's uh he's um uh fussing and 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 rampaging outside and he sees you and starts like running towards you and you make it inside and he doesn't do anything to like slam the mansion down take rip out the front door of the mansion or something like that like you know like you could um and uh instead you just hear the stomping outside and this loud mumbling uh, uh this something that he's saying and swinging you can hear this thing and every once in a while hear like a, a ding coming from coming from this thing that he's swinging around and uh you make it into the front room and mercifully, um, uh, Dirk is there, or at least a hobbit that you saw before. And um, the room here, let me make sure I got this. The room looks like it has a old musty smell, like, like leather and animal fur. And there's a, a huge fireplace on the south wall. Um, and, uh, facing the fireplace are four armchairs. Um, and the walls are covered with taxidermied animals and monster heads. And Edward, these aren't creatures. These are some kind of monsters or fairy creatures heads. Uh, not like something you've seen. Um, deers, bears, wildcats, and then some strange thing. Um, and then some other weird beast in the middle of the room that's taxidermied that looks like a, a combination of things um, that don't make sense. And um, old burned out candle stubs darken the room. Um, it's, uh, it's dark in here because uh, the sun isn't quite... Uh, it's just uh, it's making it through the windows, but otherwise, you know... It's dark, and uh, um, Dirk, uh, he says, Come here, quickly, and he's over in a corner near the, underneath one of these heads. I will be joining this trust course. What in the name of all that's holy is going on? Dirk, what's up? You're supposed to be at uh, somewhere else, right? He's got a bag, and then all of a sudden a goose head comes out of the bag, and the goose is like, Wah! and he's like, I need the tape. He's, he says, uh, he says, uh, oh man, what is it? What's its name? Cobra Chicken? <laughs> Maybe he doesn't know. No, it's, he says, Mildred. He says, he says, no, not now, Mildred, not now, Mildred. And, um, and he's like, I, well, big people, what a, what are you doing out here? You're going to get killed. Well, we were assumed that you had already been killed and we were trying to, you know, save. Your people are worried about you, Dirk. I, uh, you, you came from Brandonsford? Yeah, and I guess actually only was, well, your, your master is worried about you, kind of. No one else seemed to mention you. That was odd. But yeah, we're here to save you. <laughs> Oh. Oh, thank goodness. 
Well, I don't know how you're going to do that, but uh, we're in a little bit of a pickle right now. You see, um, I, uh, uh, my master sent me to go get some documents from, uh, uh, from a barrow. And uh, on the way, I saw a, a, a giant's house. And um, I uh, was hungry. And, you know, uh, it's, when it's hot, proper when a hobbit's hungry, you got to do something about it, you see? And I'd already eaten me rations. Um, and so I stopped in there and, well, I, I'm ashamed to say I ate some of the, some of the giant's food. But uh, he didn't see me or nothing, but... Well, then I saw it in the, in the corner, in a cage... It was Mildred, and then the goose is like, Bah! And I was like, you see, Mildred's special. She could help solve Brandonsford's problems, I think. Look. And he points into the bag. And in the darkness of the bag, Mildred has laid eggs, several of them, and her anxiety, they're golden. Does seem very useful. I'll give you that. <laughs> So I thought to myself, I'll get this here goose. And, well, to tell you the truth, William's not that great to work for. I thought maybe, maybe I might be able to turn things around myself. But then Mildred, she, she talks a lot, you see. And, and then the goose is like, Rawr! and, and he's, and he's like, so it woke up the giant and I ran to the barrows and it's a long way. And, uh, and that's where I had, uh, he, he, he ripped down an old chapel that had been up there and he got that bell. Well, I went to screaming through the woods just as fast as my little legs could carry me. And I barely made it. He almost slammed that bell on me several times. And then I made it here. I thought this place was gone. But he can't attack it. Well, <clears throat> I guess it's just a matter of how long he can keep walking around it. Yeah, you said you thought this place was gone. Is there something we should know about this place? Is there some... Yeah, this, yeah. Is, the, this is the old Willoughby Mansion from uh, back uh, a long time ago. I don't know how it survived. Uh, they, they say that a, a human family set up an estate out here. It was a long time ago, and no one's seen the Willoughby Mansion in the woods. And then at that, you hear um, like something slam into the ground. Uh, and, and then the bell that he has at the end of the rope, the outside, you just see it slam to the ground and, and then rip it up. And in the process, it goes bong, gong, 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 da, dong. And it makes this like, you know, like um, sonorous kind of like, it's not like a, a church bell. It's more like a... Um, I don't know, it, an echoing kind of kind of sound. Uh, it has this, yeah, sonorous, melodious sound to it, and um, and then this happens as y'all are chatting. Nothing seems to happen. Oh, it's both the best and the worst thing. <laughs> <laughs> and you have a door uh, to like the east side of the room, the west side. Basically, you're uh, if you're with your back to the wall and the fireplace right here and you got the things hanging over and the taxidermy thing in the center of the room to your left and right are doors. And then there's the main door. And he's and and um, and he says, uh. He says, if we tried to make a run for it, I don't think we'd make it. Not on this hillside. He'd, he'd stomp us down for sure with that bell. Okay. Well. How much have you explored this place so far? None at all, sir. 
It's quite fortuitous you came when you did. I had just made it here myself. I thought I was done for. I just tried to dive in the nearest place I could find, but then I found it strange. The old bone breaker Tom out there, he can't, he can't do anything. He, he does, well, he doesn't seem to, I mean, he could just tear the place down if he wanted to. Bone breaker Tom? Yeah, the giant in the woods. Well, how long have you been here anyway? Kind of new to the area. Yeah. Oh. Have you got any food? <laughs> Let's just go with no. No. All right. Well, let's 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 have a look around, shall we? Let's uh, make sure to stay together. Bashal will give him a ration. He uh he devours it. He he's just so grateful. Yeah. Well, that just means I'm gonna have to give you one later. Oh, so I still got a, a good amount. We're, oh, okay. We'll be, we'll be okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. What uh, which door do you go through? If you go through one. And the exit is to the north. Yeah, the entrance that you went through. Okay. Uh, see. the left one <laughs> okay the one the one to your left okay um sure what were, the, what were the choice of doors again that were visible um, in front of us yeah so uh this room it's probably about um uh it's a large foyer to this mansion uh it's probably a good 40 feet uh, in width and 20 feet in, in depth. And uh, if you're if you're with, uh, right now you're with um, uh, Dirk and your back is to the wall and you're hunched down, you've got the fireplace on the south wall and then you, the main entrance on the north wall where you came in. And then on the east and west wall, there are doors. And then there's these monster heads and this taxidermied kind of Frankenstein combination of animals in the center of the room. Uh, if you go through the Sounds like door. the room in, uh... Okay. Oh, no, go ahead. No, it just sounds, sounds, sounds like the room in the Evil Dead, you know. Part two. <laughs> Did anybody <laughs> bring the <laughs> Dead by dawn. <laughs> go ahead, I'm sorry. Page <laughs> Digressing. Um, <laughs> let's see here. Weird. Nothing. So the, all these taxidermy animal animals. I mean, I can't help but like kind of want to check all the mouths for anything. <laughs> Just any 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 wanna, hidden valuables. Or you want to stick your your hand in the the mouths of the? I'm kind of gonna poke them and make sure none of them clamp down. I guess like I get a dagger, kind of poke them and teeth make sure that you know it's kind of do an examination yeah um other than the really strange heads and the animal itself being a really strange combination of animals you mm -hmm. don't you don't see anything in the mouth or anything when you when you check gotcha. um looking Oh, I'm sorry. I, I read that number wrong. Okay, so uh, you open. Uh, well, actually, what do you do? You, you got that door. Um, it is closed. The door is closed. It's going. Uh, let me actually. Move. I'm sorry. No, this door is open. That's not fair. Uh, the door is open. You just uh, do you push it all the way open and walk through, or what do you do? It is dark on the other side. So, Dirk, you've not seen anything else in here since you ducked in this place? I ducked you in here done? just uh, just a bit before you did, sirs. So nothing, nothing. The only thing moving around we know about is that giant out there. So we haven't, not, as far as we know, so the, this place has been gone for years. Nobody had seen it. You said? Yeah, nobody's been seeing the the Willoughby place. Okay, so keep an eye out for ghosts. I guess. Yes, good to know. Uh, 
Yeah. Who's disappeared? So we're going that door. All right. All right. Um, yeah. Who goes first? Shaw's in the back with his bow. I uh, look at uh, the dwarf. The dwarf. <laughs> He, he gets voted. He's not here, so the dwarf's going to go. Okay, so as soon as... So he's got his shield and his axe, and, and he goes into the room, and as soon as he steps foot in the room, uh, at the second step, the second foot, as the floorboards creak noisily and loudly as he, as he steps into the room. And, um, Stealth incarnate. It's a. Uh, there are also windows in in this room, and that's you can see rays of sun coming in. Um, the the windows are barred with iron bars, and um, this is obviously an armory. And there are just about every type of weapon uh, set that you can imagine here. Um, and spears that are arrayed sticking out from the, the weapons uh, in racks. Um, on the south wall is a tall... I heard that y'all voluntold me to do to go to the door first. <laughs> <laughs> a little, little yeah. bit. Keep that in mind. You got a shield? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the south wall has got a tall glass case. Um, there are a bunch of ancient-looking corroded dagger blades and spear tips in the case. Uh, some sort of military history case that, that that's there and uh, a bunch of flails on display, display in the top of the case um, that are s sitting and arranged on the very top of it and then uh, you can see that the case is separate from the wall it's like this uh, this um, piece of furniture that's that's large and, and set. Uh, just flush with the wall. And, uh, yeah. And then there's a, there's another door that's open on the west, on the opposite side from where you came in. What's the dimensions of this room? And, um, it's, um, probably another 40 feet uh, from it's almost like a little bit of a hallway. It's probably a good 15 feet wide as you come in and then a good 40 feet long. Um, and uh, the um, once again, you hear and like the, the mansion's kind of shaking, you know, and then you hear dong, dong, dong from the bell as it's like slung up in the air and uh, fading as it kind of slings up into the sky and comes back and forth. And um, I have to roll a d12. And you can actually see the giant like um, muttering something in some language you don't understand. A huge leg, a boot just like... Pfft in front of the window across from you as it walks across. Um, and then... And then, like, uh, the bell slams against the mansion, but weirdly doesn't destroy it. All right. Well, there are perks to uh, Ghost Mansion or whatever this is, I guess. <laughs> Let's keep moving. So there's weapons all in this room, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm looking for something like a... Um, I need something I can throw because I have no ranged weapon. I'm kind of looking around for something like a... Uh, they have those. Uh, as many hand axes as you could carry, you could you could pick up hand axes. Uh, you could any type of normal weapon, basically, you could find here. Okay, I'm gonna find two good ones. I need two. All right, you do that. 
there are any particular non-normal weapons that stand out? So there was like spear, rusty spear, or yeah, some, some sort of like daggers. military history display with like corroded uh, daggers and spears that are very, very old. Um, mm. And then on a shelf above that are these flails that are arrayed uh, on top of the shelf. Um, yeah, and that's what you see there. But every type of normal weapon in the book you can find here. Battle axes, clubs, crossbows, daggers, hand axes, javelins, two-handed swords, war hammers, spears. And then there's a row of spears that are arrayed on, on racks facing the, the windows. And, uh, and then this happens. Music stopped. Perfect time for like that anticipation and suspense. Weird. Oh, that must have been me. Um. People appear in the door. Um, on the other side. And uh, one of them is a, um, a man uh, wearing like a brigandine, but with like padded um, iron studded uh, pl uh, plated shoulders and van braces. And um, he's got like a big August looking mustache and but a bald head. And then another person with a hooked hand and a dagger and whatever those pirate hats are. Um, and uh, a gambus. Uh, yeah. And. And they, they jump into the room, but they obviously have this kind of like ghostly, ethereal appearance. And then one person's wearing this black cape and holds a staff with black vapors coming off of it. And she's, they've got this like conical helm uh, with like a, 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 um, a place with a line that, that separates the black, black conical helm, almost like a big black egg, but then a white line. And then like a glowing circle when they talk. And uh, the um, the person with the big uh, Zweihander is like, he's like, Wherefore you go there, brigands, into the house of Willoughby? And he holds his Zweihander on his shoulder. We are no brigands. We merely seek refuge from the giant. Yeah, that child was going to smush us. Your place was convenient to not get smushed. It's as simple as that. And at that point, the uh, uh, the Goose Mildred pops out of the sack with the hobbit and goes, Rah! and then the, uh, the person with the black smoky vapor staff is like, there it is. And you just see like this thing light up and this like black egg like cone for a helmet. It's Mildred the Goose. There is our prize. And, uh, and, um, so y'all met. We just met. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the, the person with the sword is like, unhand the goose! And then, like, pulls out this Vihander and points at you all ready to strike. <laughs> I stop kind of steps to the side. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You heard the man, Dirk. <laughs> what does Dirk do? I mean, the goose, he didn't hand it okay, to so us. <laughs> so does everybody also Ben and uh, uh, Ben and uh, Thornland, you also step to the oh, side I, like good luck, Hobbit? Like, <laughs> I'm kind of like, good luck I'm stoked, like, so, uh, I look at the Hobbit. I'm on this goose, but uh, I mean, I'm not trying to say no, but What's the, like? Um, is there a reason you want this goose? <laughs> well, like I said, we just met, so I'm just curious. I mean, we're not really with her, so. Um, the uh, in response to that, the uh, um, the helmeted figure uh, takes the staff and points the staff towards you, Ben, and is like, "I think I can make 
very good use of the goose. And then the other person next to him with the trifold is like, you mean we can make good use of the goose? And then the hobbit's like, I thought I could make good use of the goose. You need a goose truce. <laughs> <laughs> There's no inspiration in this game. Uh. <laughs> well, let's, yeah, let's, 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 let's just talk this through. With goose truce. Let's call. Uh. Like I say, everybody wants this goose, but uh, can any of us even get, at, get do anything with this goose without getting smushed by a giant? Right? Um, let's see. It squawks again. The goose has an opinion. Um, of course. And you can hear the giant just stomping around outside, just like somewhere on, on the other side, uh, a few rooms apart from where ahead of you. And um, uh, the person with his Vihander says, I am Helmut Hafsord, uh, Squire of. Oh, actually. Squire of Hillsblow, and long in its service, and I am here because I have heard of the goose. I bring the goose back in honor of House Hillsblow. And um, meanwhile, the person in the helmet just gets closer to the, the hobbit. Let's see. <laughs> I think maybe we should start slowly backing out of the room. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna let it just advance on the Hobbit without any challenge. Um, do you step in in, in her way? Alright, so he'll uh nice to meet you. I'm Rat Bite. This is Dirk. Why don't we just everybody let's just talk this through? <laughs> so you're here for the goose to take it back, you say? Yes, and you will not stop me, brigand. Someone who simply comes to the old manor of Willoughby, uh, looting it, no doubt. You look like that sort. And how do you know Willoughby? We, like I said, we only just met, and we just got here to not... So you're saying you're not going to get smushed by a giant if you leave, so... Take the goose back, are you working for this giant? Uh, the person in the trifold is like... He has a point, Helmet. There is that giant outside we have to contend with. Meanwhile, the uh, so uh, the helmeted person is standing like face helmet to face with uh, uh, with um, Edward, and you just see blinking and stuff, and like these strange um, patterns uh, just flowing down into the depths of this uh, ebony mask. And um, yeah. so I'm gonna back off. Oh, you back off? I mean, I'm gonna back away. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let him have access to the Hobbit. Okay, uh, she is going to try to take the goose and run. Um, uh, All right. Is there a way I can hinder that without? Uh, yeah. If if you were to try to do that, uh, you could make a. Um, I'll just make it a dexterity attribute check. I rolled a three. Mm. That's good, right? Yeah. Very good. You catch her hand, um, and uh, she tries to get the hand back, and um, the person in the trifold is like, Anne, we haven't figured this out yet. There's still the giant to deal with. And um, she she looks at, she like turns the mask back, and she's like, very well. And the mask lights up, and then like, she like gets her hand back from Edward and walks back, and um, the person in the trifold turns to Helmet and is like, "Helmet, I suggest a truce for now until we figure out what to do with the giant, and perhaps if you would wish to uh, show your goodwill, you will work with us and we'll stay together." 
and then we will work out what to do with the goose after the fact. That seems the best course for the moment. And they have yeah, this so. shimmery, ethereal appearance to them. But Edward, when you noticed when you grabbed her wrist, it actually you were able to grab it. So helmet Anne, and you are. I like said my name is Ratbite. We're just just talk this through, or you can call me Ben, whichever, whatever you prefer. She, um, uh, you reach out. Do you, which hand do you reach out? Actually. Talking to me? Um, mm -hmm. You said you were going to shake her hand? Oh, did I say that? Um, I, I thought did, you did. I will, sure. I thought you went like Maybe that. I, I missed it. I, don't yeah, I probably did. Yeah, I did. Okay. I, I, yeah. Okay. Which which hand um, is the... I guess I'm... Oh, well, that makes it scary. I, I would <laughs> say right-handed, you know? <laughs> All right, you reach out your right hand. She says in response, I'm Lisbon Grund. And she reaches out what is a, a hook and then she's like oh uh, dear uh, and then she holds the hook like for you I to shake hook the hook it with a finger and yeah. shake it with a <laughs> <laughs> and helmet's like I will agree to this arrangement but only long enough for us to figure out what to do with the giant and then we will set battles right with the goose and your theft So what are you doing here? Oh, uh, Willoughby, uh, our family friends back in, in the days of Griffsville at the height of the old empire. So Mildred's with the uh, Willoughby's? So still trying to put all the pieces together here. <laughs> we came to see the fate of Willoughby House. And lo, lo, has it been uh, laid, the house of Willoughby. And so we wanted to get Mildred at least out. What are you doing in the house of Willoughby? Mostly avoiding giants. That's kind of how we ended up here, so... Again, we're kind of just new to the whole situation, meeting everybody. It just kind of thought, didn't plan on meeting so many new people so much, but uh, much less defending a goose from whatever. Do you know of the knight Brandon? Yes, of course I know Brandon. He was one of the great knights of the land. He, in the days of uh, at the end of the Elder Days, at the coming of the Old Kingdom, purged the fairies of, from this place. And most of all, he was the very one who defeated uh, the dragon. Finally. Well, before we ended up in this place, we the were dragon Aldak! Aldak the Black. Aldak the Black. Or was and that we were... another story? And he turns he turns over to, to Lisbeth, and Lisbeth's like, oh, Helmet, we, let's work that out later. Anyway, we were on our way to find the, the tomb of uh, Sir Brandon for Aldak the Black back. And we're not trying to prevent. <laughs> Here you are in a goose truce. <laughs> yeah, in a goose truce. Yeah. Aldak the Black is back. Um, and there's a hobbit village he's about to attack. <laughs> it's turning into a rap song. <laughs> <laughs> and we're trying to prevent that. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to your next album. <laughs> Wandered into the works of Chaucer here. Hey, was there some, something crack and smack? And, uh... Helmet says, A saucer, you say? And then, like, Elizabeth's like, No. And, uh. uh, I, uh I, I won't. Never mind. Uh, say, you seem brave, competent types. 
Are you not concerned of the about the fairies and the dragon? The fairies and the dragon. So you say they have returned. So we are given to understand. Hmm. Darkened these lands have become under the duke of this place. Duke. There's a duke. Yes, of course. Uh, this is the uh, a, a part of our grand empire. Okay. Oh. You sure it's not duck. The duck of death. <laughs> the goose goes. <laughs> <laughs> the duck of death. Yeah. Well, we're talking, uh, and then you hear is like the giant like is humming and saying something to itself in some strange language and you see this giant boot like slam outside the window as it walks back past the other way and it's swinging the the bell as it goes Shaw gestures with his head and says he wants the goose too so I don't know if any of you guys can understand what he's saying or anything can you? I don't know um and uh, Apocalypse Anne, uh, she says, I can understand what he's saying. I'm too late. Do you care to translate? Of course. He says, um, he says, thieves and villains, you have stolen my goose. And um, at that, you actually see a giant eyeball, like, peering through the window, just blinking and looking at you. Yeah, Bishaw hey, just kind of... <laughs> hey, can we just give the goose back and just all be on our merry way? Um, Dirk, um, he... Uh, he says, I tried that, sirs, and he informed me that I would die for my crimes either way. I see. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't well, seem fair to give him back then. Uh, no, it's uh, mm. what's done is done, I suppose. Yeah. Besides, what does Mildred want out of all this, right? Mildred goes, Arr! Mildred, do you want to go with the ghost people? <laughs> it looks up at you. And then, like, starts to posture threateningly. <laughs> I can't tell if that's a yes in goose. They just, <laughs> do you speak, they just wake up character, every day and choose violence. Did your character speak goose? Did you pick goose among the listed languages in old school essentials? Did now. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder... <laughs> no, I don't have an hour to cast Animal Friendship. Oh, oh I man. wish we had the oh, druid man. here. He could get to the bottom of this. Because <laughs> he can speak with animals, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, what, what, what's the plan? Ooh, We've um, been rolling real lucky so far. <laughs> oh, boy. That's ominous. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we need to go. We can't stay here forever. Yeah, we need to lose sight of this giant. What uh, what other, what else is there to be found in the house? Um, at that, um, uh, Helmet says, Hmm, well, a proper family of, <clears throat> of Griff's Vale would perhaps have, uh, some from the, the times of the Great War at the ending of the Elder Days, uh, released I'm no expert on giants, but I would imagine that it might not like Ballista. Uh, that does sound promising. I like the Ballista. Sounds like a potential solution to our giant problem there. Uh, would that be on the roof, perhaps, or...? Mm, well, it, uh, right in the arms room, uh, um, what could it be? Did. Couldn't have lost a ballista. They're good for dragons too, as I understand. 
<laughs> this guy knows how to win the game. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> There's also a dragon. I'm not sure where the ballista is, but yes, it makes sense it would be on the roof or here in the armament room. If it's not, then uh, perhaps it would be uh, in a, a, a tower or a bell tower or somewhere up high. Yes. I don't know. Well, let's about it. All right, where do you all go? Well, I assume we've already tried the armament room. Unless there's a different room that has armaments. We've only seen uh, the previous room. Uh, it's a staircase and uh, some coffins. Uh, family mortuary, perhaps. Okay. Well, uh, we've only seen the front hall. Wait, how did you get in the house? Oh, we came through uh, this this room in the front door, but uh, we were uh, that that room. And he points through the door on the other side. He says that's some sort of mortuary. Uh, there's a, a door on the south room, and then a stairs. Uh, but we hadn't gotten that far, and we heard the commotion as you came in. I see. Hmm. Stairs going up. Yes. Well. I get to the roof. That yes. seems like the way to go. Let's try it. All right. Uh, you go through. Uh, the door is open. Um, there's a staircase um, on the uh, the north side of the room. Um, there are four coffin-shaped slabs of stone set into the floor. Uh, inscriptions on them long since worn away by foot traffic. Um... And that's what you see in this room, and then on the south side of the room is a door, which is closed. Well, okay. Do we have to walk on the um, sarcophagus, or just can we walk around them? Yeah, Not you could walk them. around them if you were trying to avoid it. Okay. Yeah, I don't... I don't... I don't necessarily fancy a bit of grave robin when there's, you know, friends of the family just in the room over, so to speak. So, it's tempting as it could be. Agreed. All right. So you walk around, um, being careful not to step on the, the stones with the inscriptions, uh, going toward the door or the stairs? Stairs, I think. All right. Um, going up the stairs, uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, I guess, yeah, I'm going to check the stairs for anything. You don't see anything out of the normal. Do you want to take a, a turn to search them? So yeah. they hadn't been up the chairs. I'm okay with searching the stairs if everybody's one willing to take it. But uh, I don't know. I, I get weird. I get get sure. nervous around steps and things you, uh, above could fall on my head. I was good. So I took the extra turn. Uh, you take some time to search the stairs. Um, uh, we're rolling really well so far, uh, by the way. Very lucky so far. Um, you search the stairs and uh, you're pretty... You're, fairly confident that there's no traps or anything wrong with them. Okay, so yeah, nothing like above the stairwell that looking like either, so if assuming that's the case and I say, all right, seems clear. Um, you see uh, at this point uh, the stairs continuing up um, uh, the stairs just like switch back and continue up further. Um, it's carpeted, and the carpet seems in good condition here. Uh, you can see an open door just ajar with mo with uh, uh, sunlight now as uh, as it's become evening. Um, but you can still see the uh, the setting sun, the beams of it coming in through 
large windows further down a hallway, but you can't see otherwise what's on the other side of that door. So you've got the door and then the stairs that continue up. Uh, I mean, based on the dimensions of the house that I notice, does it seem like the, through that door would be room enough for a ballista to be hanging out? You mean through? That's the, what we're looking for. You mean down the hallway, or um, yeah, like whatever door you're talking about, as opposed to going up the stairs. Uh, if you look, uh, you look down the door, down the hallway. There's this long hallway. It's probably, I don't know, 120 feet long, 200 feet long. I don't know. It just goes all the way down. It seems to stretch the length of the the manor, and you can see, um, uh, big windows uh, uh, along the left side of this hallway as, as it goes down. And you can see, um, let's see here, tall vaulted ceilings here, uh, diamond-shaped panes, and there are paintings all along the south wall. Uh, without making out the details of going in, that's what you see here. Certainly no ballista or anything. And there's a, there's a door on the far end. Uh, you do see two double doors, two double glass pane doors, uh, about middle of the way down, uh, on the left side, um, which seems to just go outside. So it must go onto a balcony, also. Mm -hmm. So I say we can go check out and see if there's anything on the balcony, or go I say go up the stairs. I mean, I guess we. Those are those are the two things I suggest. So, to, to looking at from the outside, how many floors did I tell? Where was this building? Uh, it looks like it's probably three floors, and you're on the second okay. floor. And, um, or it's two floors, and then there's like the typical thing with a mansion where you have like, what do you call it? A, a thing, a, 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 a top level with things like yeah. towers and whatever, you know. Uh, anyways, um, you can also uh, see the giant. You can see his shadow cast in the setting sun <laughs> as he's walking around outside. And still going to all, well, like mumbling something to himself, and you hear that sonorous ring as the bell is swung around. Mumbles threateningly. Yeah. Did we? Uh, did we go go west? Or or sorry, I had I had to go for a second. I um, no, they stuff. haven't. They haven't picked the. They, so they went up the stairs. Okay. They did. I'm sorry. They did go west. They went upstairs. And now you could either keep going up the stairs or you can go down this long hallway. It's got paintings and, um, yeah. Did the other, I'm sorry, are the other folk not with us? Yeah, they are with you. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Helmut's got his big Zweihander on his shoulder and Lisbeth uh, has her hooked hand and she's scraping the dagger and looking around nervously. And Apocalypse Anne is just like silently walking with her magic staff with the evil looking black vapors coming off the end of it. Yeah. She makes me nervous. Um, I mean, I, I, I want to say Ballista is thing one. But I suppose we could glance at these paintings. Do the paintings tell us anything? Uh, you do you enter into the hall and look to at the go paintings? In the hallway, find out. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, there's this tall vaulted ceiling. Um, uh, the the setting sun, the 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 waning rays of the sun come through the north windows along this long hall, and. Um, Many of them have these diamond-shaped panes that uh, diffuse the light, almost like, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, like uh, stained glass windows or something. Um, let's see. Uh, there's 
just making sure here. Um, you can see that the uh, the double doors on the middle way down as you go here, or uh, as you approach it, the double doors on the left on the north uh, wall, in fact, do open up into a, a, a balcony. But there are no ballista or anything. It's just a uh, a fairly shallow uh, balcony that hangs over the entrance to the manor on the north side of it. Um, there are six paintings on the south wall, a portrait of a seated woman in a voluminous white dress, a landscape of a dark forest at night lit by a bonfire, a landscape of a man standing in a boat gliding down a river full of lilies at the mouth of a cave, and a city on fire and burning, as seen across a nearby river. Uh, you can also see a tall, life-size portrait of an old man sitting at a desk pondering a lump of dark metal. His desk is covered with a wide variety of esoteric instruments, um, alchemical flasks illuminated by a candle. And you can see some of the crystals exactly the same as the shape of the window pane on the north side. Uh, the that the windows are made of. Oh, and then last of all, a impossibly tall black tower under construction, rising out of a stormy sea. Spooky. And uh, at that, Helmet looks at these things and he says... Well, the Whittlebees did have some esoteric tastes, they say. Curious about those crystals in the windows. Is there any kind of pattern going on here? Uh, yeah, it looks like the crystals in the window are patterned exactly the same as the crystals in the painting. Mm. Like, uh, yeah. And yeah, uh, and also something else happens. Hmm. No, that's not gonna work. We did that one too. Uh, you smell the scent of incense pouring from the painting with the man with the esoteric objects and the crystals. Oh, boy. Hmm, okay. Uh, will it be a tea? Is that a... Any of you guys know this particular will it be? Uh, maybe we should... Oh, um, let me see here. Um, uh, Helmet looks at it. He says, why, or this, that, that, there's, um, our God Willoughby himself, for Lord Willoughby. He's the, uh, <clears throat> the patriarch of the South. Hmm. By chance, so the the crystals were the, there were crystals in the painting with him in it, or was mm -hmm. this in, okay, specifically crystals that looked like the crystals in the on the wall mirror or the windows. Mm -hmm. hmm, okay. Any particular, like, when sunlight, or the little bit of sunlight that's coming through, or that was it doing anything weird on those particular windows when it comes through, or? Uh, you mean, like, if the light... Yeah, does the light look... It's diffused, like stained glass, I guess. So I, I'm just going to try and avoid walking anywhere with this weird light from those crystals, is what I'm thinking. Okay, yeah. And now we got the smell of incense coming from the painting, which. That's a little disconcerting. 
Yeah. Is there another, another door to the east? Um, yeah, at the end of uh, this hall is a closed door as well. Let me give it a listen. Okay. Um, um, you don't hear anything. Okay. If anybody else wants to do any of the checks, I think we agreed that, that I could be wrong, but I think if someone does a listen at door or an investigation check, anyone else could, because it takes 10 minutes, which is abstracted. It's not specifically 10 minutes, right? But you're taking a full round. So I did, I rolled for the round. Uh, so you can also, um, if people want to do an investigation check, um, I, I suppose I want to look closer at this painting that has incense coming off of it. All right. Well, since he's taking the time to listen at the door, uh, before you roll, um, you notice that the frame of the painting is different than the other five frames. And it's floor to ceiling height. How different how? Well, first of all, the shape is different. It's uh, flush with the floor, and uh, the others are not. Uh, and secondly, it's thicker. The frame is thicker. So the smell of incense, are there, is there anything like burning in the picture? I know he's doing alchemical stuff. Is there any sort of incense in the picture or anything like that? Uh, the candle is burning, but otherwise no. Burn. So, but the picture is still a still image. When once the star smell it, I'm incense, gonna touch the. Not... Yeah, go. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna reach out and tentatively touch the painting. You just touch it. Yep. Nothing happens. But it's a door. I uh. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna search it. You know, search. Yeah, for... Search that door for. Search that door for doors. Um, how how do you do that? Don't worry, you can roll. But like, I'm gonna you know feel along the the edges with my uh, fingers of you know smell along the edges, like sense any sense for any draft or anything like that. Um, you don't feel a draft, edges. but you you do feel a, a small gap where it looks like it recesses further into the wall. All right. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going is, to so go ahead. Go ahead. I was, is but by chance when he, is the incense seem to be coming from this painting? You say so. Is there a smell of incense coming from the gap? It does seem to be coming stronger from the gap. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna open up this painting door and see. Just give it a pull. Let's and, and you can also roll. You can also well, roll a d6 if you want, but um, a d6 for and uh, searching, uh, investigating, uh, searching an area, um, or searching for secret doors. Actually, is another d6 check, but um, I think. For um, your... Sorry, go ahead. I rolled a four. I don't know what what that means. And it's okay. Um, um, yeah. What else? Uh, what else do you do? I'm looking along all of the. Once I realize it's recessed and there, there, the smell is stronger along the crack. I'm gonna look for any buttons, basically, like check the painting itself for any like parts of it that stand out. You know, that seem raised or like run my fingers along it and that kind of thing and. You, r you run your fingers along it. It's hard to get up to the top of it. But you're confident there's a gap uh, where it seems like it just continues into the recess in the wall. Um, and you can get your fingers around it. Okay. All right. Well, I'm doing it. Okay. <sighs> And you pull it back and uh, let's see what you see. You see 
As you open a, a dark room, illuminated by the uh, the sunset uh, that's beginning to become darker as you still hear the footfalls of the giant outside. Uh, and there's a large table covered in alchemy equipment. Vials, alembics, mortars, pestles. Uh, everything an alchemist would need for their work is in here. Um, probably worth a lot of money if you found an alchemist. Uh, there is a, a black candle on the desk. A threadbare rug lies on the floor underneath it. And um, you can see where the brickwork has fallen apart off on the eastern wall, revealing a hole. And uh, there's a cabinet on the eastern wall in an alcove. Yeah. Hope that rug with my ten foot pole just to <laughs> knock it to make sure. And as you uh, oh, what, you poke it with a ten foot pole, the rug. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's see here. Um, as you poke it, you're confident. The th the rug shifts a little bit. You move. There's no mechanisms. There's no. You you're confident it's fine. But you notice there's just slightly a lump. There's been something placed under the rug. Nothing activates, nothing moves. Just something's been placed under it. And um, also, something else happens. You hear... Dum, 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 the strange, sonorous bell as it rings again. And... Um, You feel like something else shudder, but it's not the footfalls of the giant. Something else moves. The mansion seems to move. Mm -hmm. And, um... 17. You can hear a moaning, dark voice, two of them, down the hall... Coming down the hallway from where you came, um, and uh, Apocalypse Anne placidly just says, "We should hide." And close that door. <laughs> yeah. That's where we'll actually end tonight. <laughs>